briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. This legal tussle began when Bank One installed ATMs at various locations throughout Iowa, including numerous Sears stores. In response to this move, however, the state of Iowa commanded the bank to remove these ATMs, arguing they were in violation of Iowa's Electronic Funds Transfer Act. Bank One rebutted this order, showcasing provisions in the National Bank Act that they claimed permitted them to operate ATMs without state restrictions. Central to their argument was the idea that the Iowa law impeded on their ability to advertise and set up these machines, thus contradicting federal laws. Challenging the state's directive, Bank One moved the dispute to court to ascertain if the Iowa law indeed conflicted with federal law and whether a permanent injunction against the state's law was justified. The initial hearing saw the district court reject Bank One's plea for a preliminary injunction. However, the bank pushed back, appealing the district court's decision. Turning the narrative around, the appeal court ruled that certain aspects of Iowa's Electronic Funds Transfer Act were overshadowed by overarching federal law. Validating Bank One's appeal, the court approved the bank's plea for a permanent injunction against certain provisions of the state's law. With this ruling, the state's potential imposition of a significant economic loss on the bank was effectively averted. Hence, the case was sent back to the district court with an order to enter a permanent injunction, marking a significant victory for Bank One. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.